So let's begin. Now for starters, I'm going to be teaching you all how to make a, a, a small and simple bowl from jute. And for that, you require a mold or whatever you want. So I'm taking this really small, cute bowl and you'll need to put some cling film on top. Cover it properly and cut it off. It should cover the entire bowl properly. Now we'll cover the entire bowl with cling film. Make it as even as possible and we'll start using this. Now you take your twine, unfurl it a bit and you start, first of all you start by applying some glue and you apply glue. What you can also do is you can take a small bowl, uh, fill it with uh, this glue and a bit of water and dip the entire twine in that glue and then remove the excess glue and you can start sticking over here on the bowl. But that gets too messy. That's the reason I prefer using it like this, in this way. Now what we'll do is we'll begin with folding this up a little bit. Keep on rolling it a little and you press it down over here. Now we'll begin with rolling the mold. It's easier to move the mold when you have a bigger mold, uh, when you have a bigger bowl or whatever you want to make. It's easier to move the mold than to move this entire twine. And as you go ahead, you just keep on adding more glue. Keep on adding glue. And just keep on pressing it down. Try and be as precise as possible. Don't leave it loose. Keep on pulling at your twine. Hold it down and pull the twine. So it doesn't unfurl or it doesn't get a chance to unfurl when, it's, when it dries and comes off. Keep on applying glue. Don't apply too much. There's no need for that. It'll just make it more messy. So you just press it down and move your bowl. You can use these bowls for uh, putting your knickknacks. You can uh, make deeper bowls and use them for your pens. Uh, they add a nice rustic quality to your home and they look really pretty. You can also cover your wine bottles, old wine bottles or regular bottles with these, uh, with the jute and uh, put flowers, make it, use it as a vase. Now say you want just this much bowl, just this size of a bowl. So what you do is you cut it off, the extra jute, apply a bit of glue on the sides and at the bottom and stick it well. Press on it, give it some time to stick properly and leave it to dry. Now this needs to be dried for at least a minimum of uh, an entire day, say 24 hours. Longer is always better, but within 24 hours, this is more than enough. This is going to be nice and dry. Now I have done something very similar to that. I had made this bowl yesterday. Unfurl it for you. What I've done is, you've seen my earlier crochet video and uh, there's a link to the crochet video in the description and uh, you can make these uh, this entire chain and what I've done is I've uh, put jute at the bottom and I've just added a little bit of crochet string embellishment to this entire bowl and we'll get it off now. It's going to take some time to get it off properly but with a little bit of help you can get it out. Now you just remove the saran wrap Gently, don't pull it off. This is a bit of excess glue. You just remove it off or you can cut it out. I 
had to add a little extra glue because of the cotton thread. The jute doesn't require so much glue. So that's it, your beautiful simple bowl is ready to use. You can put any amount of knickknacks you want inside. Use it for storing your flowers. Use it for storing your uh, jewellery, whatever you want. So that's one really cute bowl ready. In the same way, I've made this, uh, I've used a, 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 a screwable top of a bowl and I made this really tiny, flat, petri dish kind of a thing. So uh, you can do this, uh, you can make, a, I've made it a little flatter, I've made it into a dish kind of a thing and I've colored it inside uh, with a regular uh, poster color and I'm trying to draw on it. Uh, you can use this once again uh, for putting any amount of jewelry or something like that uh, or your pins or your rubber bands or something. Uh, you can also make a deep bowl like this. Once again, I've done the same technique. I've just used the uh, cotton uh, thread right on top. I've just stuck it like this. And this is a deep bowl where you can use your pens and pencils and all that stuff. You can put those in. Um, I've also braided jute. I braided it and I put, uh, made it into a coaster. Uh, these are fairly simple to make. Uh, you just have to braid the jute thread and uh, use it like this. So that's one thing. And another thing that I've done is what I had done was use the same mold over here. And I started from here. I didn't start from the center. I started from the sides and I made it like this. I made the entire thing. And what we can use this is as a so you can use this as a nice candlelight holder, a small tea light, and it gives a really romantic feel. And it's so simple, it's, and it's quick to make. Just a bit of drying, and you're all ready and set. And that's it, as simple as that. Thank you for watching my video, and uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>